answer and a place of solution. Streaming on all our social media platforms. Hello people, my name is Greg Vincent. I want to welcome you to a brand new month. This is the month of April and God's prophetic word for us this month is our month of the supernatural. God is launching us into deeper work in the miraculous. And I tell you, it's going to be a ride that God wants you to join. And I want to invite you to major events in the month of April. Now, every Sundays and Thursdays is dedicated to deep teaching on working in the miraculous. On Thursdays by 5.30 p.m. And then on Sundays by uh, 7.30 and 10 a.m. Two loaded services will be doing a deep teaching series on working in the miraculous. We are having a special midnight prayer starting from this night every night in the month of april from 12 midnight the link is displayed on the screen right now we are on facebook we are on youtube we are on radio and we are on tv satellite pcm satellite tv i want you to join the global midnight prayer network i want you to be a part of what is going on this is the end time move of god as you join us god bless you i wish you a wonderful wonderful april month god bless you and have a wonderful day miracles happen when god honors the word of his servants tonight god will honor the words of pastor greg vincent pray with us by connecting on the mixel r app or connect on facebook or on youtube you can also watch on your satellite on Linux TV or Ninja TV. Global Midnight Prayer Network is a place of answer and a place of solution. I am soaring on the wings of grace. I am on the wings of mercy. No chain can hold me. No limitation. I am soaring on the wings of grace. I stand on this altar in the weight of my oil. I prophesy every evil eye monitoring how your life is going. Holy Ghost! But I pray for somebody here. Your life will still be on track. If you want to stand out, be outstanding. When principles are weak, influence will be weak. Integrity attracts integrity. To become a principal person in life, you must be a person of strong principles. This event will be streamed on all our social media platforms. TCM TV is now on Satellite 247 on Limex TV and Niger TV. That means you can now watch Pastor Greg Vincent just anytime you want and be blessed with his amazing teaching of God's Word. Available on decoders, smart TVs, Android, and iOS. Now, 
Here is how you get TCM TV on your device. Log on to the App Store on your device and download any of the following. Limex TV or Niger TV. Limex is spelled L-I-M-E-X TV. Limex TV or Niger TV. Niger is spelled N-A-I-J-A TV. Niger TV. Remember to join Pastor Greg Vincent on the Global Midnight Prayer Network. God bless you real good. When the glory comes, there will be no words to say. Yeah. Came here with this. Let leg. me see. What well, this is something like a corset? Yes. She cannot move her neck or turn her neck, but immediately you pray. Oh. Now she can move her neck. Hallelujah. Now your neck is free. Can somebody give the Lord a big, big hallelujah? Glory! Glory! You will not need this again in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Yes, let's hear what the Lord did for you. 15 years. Since then, she has never pain on her two legs. Your pain, pain in your two legs. For how many years? Yes, 15 years. So while you were 14 years, you started having that pain? Yes. It started initially from this left leg. If my ankle, sometimes my bones will just stiff. It's like as if no blood is flowing through my veins. At the long run, with the years when I started walking, it now moved to the second leg. They now notice me that that is how I used to walk in my office. But that is not how I used to walk. Initially, when I, was, when I joined the choir in my village, I used to wear shoes, high shoes. I would even dance with the shoes. So I thank God. I give God. But what happened now? I want to know. But I thank God. I can can jump now. Oh, yeah, jump. Let us see. Run. Let us see. You are not feeling the pain. You are not feeling the pain. See how you are celebrating God. Jealousy will kill you. Celebrate Jesus. Sister, come, 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 come. Do your legs. Is the pain there? Aya, aya. God bless you, daughter. You can go. Yes. Pain. 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 They say it was kidney stone. Kidney stone. For the past six years, it didn't disappear. Come, wait. Were you having? Do you feel it when you touch it? You used to feel something when you touch it. Is it you? Are you still feeling anything? You are not even feeling any. Before now, when you touch it, you used to feel it. You used to feel something inside. She said while she was outside, she was feeling it, kidney stone. But now, she's not feeling anything again. She's not feeling it. I want to be sure. Are you feeling anything? When the glory comes, there'll be no words to sing. All right, maybe you help me sing. Hold on, baby. Yes, has growths. I mean, growth in, in his nose. Growth in his nose. Yes, affecting his breath, making him to open his mouth. Open to his breath. mouth to breathe. Yes. We have been going to Defas test. It's come also that he has growth also in his throat also. Eh? Growth in his throat. Also in his throat. Also started again. Yes. So the, the boy always snore. Always. And they'll be taking drugs. So after. what happened, please? So during the midnight prayer. During midnight prayer. Before that, the boy started, the snow started stopping. Now that the boy can close his mouth and he doesn't snore again when he was sleeping. Bring the baby. Hallelujah. Let's hear. Yeah. Yes, she said that she's the one that you 
Mr. about four months, no men's rapping. No, no four man, no, months, no men's no rapping. Yes, it has become oh. ongoing. I am not even married, but they said it's a uh, hormonal imbalance and uh, menopause and all that. I even asked, I said, what is the meaning of this? Somebody that is not married, you are saying that this person has hormonal imbalance and menopause and all that. So immediately you said that I saw my flow last, November last year. It will just be pains are there. I have taken all manner of drugs, no going, no coming, nothing is happening. Though I've been following you in the midnight prayers and all that, I've been asking God for healing even before I what came happened? here. So when I came this evening, you just said this is what happened and all that. I ran out. So after going back to my seat, a very sharp pain in my lower abdomen that I don't know. I don't know. Immediately I fall on that anointing. I couldn't have that strength to pray. But eh, I fall on that anointing. When I went to the bedroom, just to check, I came with rubber. This is the medicine that doctor has been giving me to stop the flow. This is the blood medicine that they prepare that should be taken. I came with rubber to show you how the flow is. I came with rubber that in case it filled up, I will change up. My husband said, don't go, you're not too strong. Because if I stand, my eye would dazzle me. I would look as if I want to collapse. When I went to the bedroom, behold, I've been nice. The blood dried up. My Katala, you are still there. You are still there. You are still there. Somebody shout. Oh. Hallelujah. Who has done this one? Who has done this work? Wow. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. More grace now. More grace. Oh. Yes. Yes. My name is Ayukere Akmati. I joined this Midnight Prayer October 2023. Somebody sent the link to me. That is a friend of mine in Winners Chapel. When I joined the Midnight Prayer, there was a growth on my back. That growth has been there for some years. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, everyone, wherever you are. 
this beautiful afternoon thank you very much for everyone joining us uh right now the lord bless you the lord bless you the lord bless you the lord bless you if you can hear my voice just go ahead and let me know that you can hear me loud and clear it is my birthday and i am super excited you know god has helped me god has helped us god has been good god has been nice god has been faithful hallelujah and i'm i want to i want to appreciate everyone who has been you know you have been uh, uh sending me messages i've seen a lot of messages i've seen a lot of messages um i've seen a lot of messages on my phone a lot of wishes all right I, I see my pictures flying everywhere on the internet my god i i can't i can't uh, imagine i can't imagine that i'm this loved thank you very much for uh for showing me such uh, an amazing overwhelming love thank you thank you thank you very much you know thank you for all the wishes thank you for the care thank you for those who are sending me uh something in my account god bless you i really appreciate all of that that is uh you are sending the lord bless you in the name of jesus all right this few moments is uh, a special prayer for uh those believing god for marital settlement amen marital settlement so i am going to be uh brief like i said i'm not going to take your time all that matters is the prophetic word that comes out from my mouth and i am going to speak please help me uh post the link share the link with somebody if you know anyone that is a single person and they they need the hand of god on their lives hallelujah hallelujah they need the hand of god on their lives you know you are experiencing one kind of marital delay or the other you are trusting that this year you really need to settle down. God can do it. Hallelujah. God can do it. Praise the Lord. And then so, I'm going to, to pray for you. So, just share the link wherever you are. If you are following on Facebook, you are following on YouTube, you are following on, on radio, anywhere at all that you are joining from, please, you can share, share the link. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 Bible says for the vision is yet for an appointed time the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry hallelujah listen it is not the will of God for his children to wait in vain it is not the will of god not all delays are from god are you listening to me so my experiencing marital delay and not all delays are from god you understand that there is always a waiting period all right for your desired miracles sure uh -huh. but we must know the difference between waiting on the lord and being resisted by the devil we must know the difference between when somebody is waiting for god's time and when the enemy is trying to stop him from uh you know uh from uh when the enemy is trying to stop him from having his his blessing sorry there is a lot of distraction right here okay all right can you hear me can you hear me now okay i said there's a difference between when uh when somebody is waiting for his time amen and when somebody is being resisted by by the enemy all right so in the book of daniel daniel's prayer was delayed for 21 days even when the answers was sent on the first day that's what the bible said the devil and his demons resisted the answers for 21 days but god gave him supernatural victory that is in the book of daniel chapter 10 if you read verse 20 uh, 13 to 21 you will see hallelujah so this afternoon i want us to focus on uh, prayers against marital delay and i have some one or two prayer points that god has placed in my heart in my spirit to lead you hallelujah that i believe it is going to you know help you there are people that are going through uh demonic delay maritally this is the truth 
this is the truth i've i've encountered people who you know marriage does not just their thing it's not like it's not their thing they want to get married but it's not working marriage is not working for them it's not working for them they get into one relationship maybe they get into one relationship one problem or the other so i know of a lady that told me very wonderful lady very very wonderful she has money she has everything you know but she told me that as she is very a lawyer you know that people don't ask her out people don't ask her out you know so it's not normal it's not ordinary it's not ordinary if you are noticing anything of that kind you know what you do man take it serious oh. don't just say this eh, maybe god doesn't want me to marry who told you you are not a nun you are not called to be a, rich, a, a, a reverend sister it is not normal it's not normal some of these things are patterns in the family where people have to get to a certain age before they marry or some people don't even get married at all relationship does not work if you notice that relationship is not working for you people only use you and dump you or when you build with somebody are you listening to me you build with somebody and the person gets to a point where he is supposed to at least settle down with you he begins to give excuses or wants to go for somebody else there are people who have had such experiences they stay with a man for a long time and you know and when it is when the man when the man is suffering he will be with them loyal with them but when it is time god start blessing the young man he will change his mind change his attitude change his character and before you know it bam there are people also truth is this you know the only people that come around them is married people married people married people you keep asking yourself what covenant do i have with married men what covenant do i have with married men beloved is not a it's not a crime if you have your own man you can desire for god to bless you with the kind of man you want are you listening to me right now as a believer you must know that no matter the situation you find yourself you can never be disadvantaged you can pray your way out of any situation and that's what we are going to be doing this is a very very significant day of my life you know every blessing that you are looking for that you think you need god has blessed me and i want to pray for you in the in the morning around nine o'clock i prayed for those believing god for fruit of the womb that god will open up their womb and i gave them one or two tips and wisdom which i believe is going to help them are you listening to me i prayed for them i told them see you pastor greg i have a wife i'm married i have three kids yes i have three kids my wife is not barren my mother was not barren my mother had 12 children so if god could bring me from such a fruitful line amen and made me to come to the light it means if i pray it will work for you amen same thing also when it comes to marry marriage i did there was no marital delay amen i'm married by the help of god amen by the help of god there was no stress there was no struggles in fact when i wanted to get married you know I, there was no enough money to do that but god sent people there was no delay if there was no delay in my life maritally then i i can stand in the position to pray for you today are you ready now lift your voice and bless god let's appreciate god for the grace that he has provided that is upon my life open your mouth say, open your mouth and thank god thank god for the grace of god that is upon the life of your pastor thank god for adding one more year to my life open your mouth and bless the lord everywhere everyone everyone everybody open your mouth and say lord thank you for pastor greg vincent thank you for your grace upon his life thank you for adding one more year to his year thank you jesus go ahead everybody open your mouth and pray open your mouth and bless the lord open your mouth and bless the lord open your mouth and bless the lord wherever you are open your mouth and bless the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus in jesus name we pray in the mighty name of jesus you are going to open your mouth and and uh and bless the lord for for uh the the grace of god that is available that is operating upon this altar just thank god for the grace of god that is upon this altar open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray 
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that is upon this altar. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. Wherever you are this afternoon, I want you to open your mouth and say, Father, let your mercy prevail over every judgment in my life. Let your mercy prevail over every judgment in my life. Open your mouth and pray, Lord, let your mercy prevail. Lord, let your mercy prevail over every judgment in my life. Let your mercy prevail. Open your mouth and pray. Wherever you are, let the mercy of God prevail over every judgment in my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Leko Shabada deka sozia. Let your mercy, O God, prevail over every judgment in my life. Your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. Let your mercy prevail, O God. Let your mercy prevail, O God, over every judgment in my life. Let your mercy prevail. 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 Let your your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, let your mercy prevail over every judgment in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to lift up our voice wherever you are and say after me. Say, oh Lord, open my eyes to see the reason for this delay. Open my eyes to see the reason for marital delay in my life. Open my eyes. 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 Open your mouth and pray that God will show you the root cause of delay in your life. The root cause of delay in your life. Open your mouth and pray. Father, open my eyes to see. 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 In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth wherever you are and be Begin to pray that prayer. Begin to pray that prayer. That the Lord will open your eyes to see the root cause of every delay. Marita delay. In the name of Jesus. Rekebosi kabaya. Lebre degadegade. Rekosa talabaya. Rekabazogo de alagada. Ezeke de legadegade. Rekabada balabadasia. Akabaro de ababababa. Eketelebragadia soon de legadegade. Rekabababa. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to open your mouth and pray. Every power bring, attracting the wrong people into my life. Every power attracting the wrong people into my life. Be paralyzed by fire. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. Every power attracting the wrong people into my life. Be paralyzed by fire. Be paralyzed by fire. Be paralyzed by fire. Every power attracting the wrong people into my life. Be paralyzed by fire. Be paralyzed by fire. Be paralyzed by fire. Be paralyzed by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Mateke soto li bagada. Rekete le bragada. Zekete le bragadia. Rakabata kato. Rekabo shagada. Regedegedegedegede. Rekapatori agada. Zekete legedegede. Every power attracted the wrong people into my life be paralyzed by fire be paralyzed by fire be paralyzed by fire in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray every power attracting the wrong people into my life be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus in the victorious name of Jesus, lift your voice and say after me. Say, my father, my father, 
as I pray now, every covenant with marital delay, every covenant with marital delay, as I pray now, break by fire. As I pray now, break by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every covenant with marital delay, break by fire. 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 Every covenant with marital delay, break in the name of Jesus. 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 Break in the name of Jesus 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 in Jesus name we pray in the mighty name of Jesus you are going to open your mouth and say after me say my father my father as I begin to pray now I remove the hand of household wickedness from my marital life I remove the hands of household wickedness from my marital life in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray now. Wherever you are, let the hands of household wickedness be cut off from my marital life. Household wickedness. The hands of household wickedness be cut off. 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 Pray wherever you are. Pray wherever you are. Pray wherever you are. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. Pray. Bakabarada. Rekabado shadadada. Reketele bragadea. Asha bababababa. Rekatala bagada. Eketo ladaraba. Ezeketele bregade. In Jesus' name we pray. God is settling somebody maritally. Well, as I was praying, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw something. I saw a lady. You are 46. You are listening to me now. You are 46. This is what happened. While you were 28, listen to me. You will remember what I'm saying. Though. After, as I'm talking, you remember it. While you were 28, you had an encounter. You opened your mouth and you insulted somebody. You are listening to me, an elderly person. And that person is not a normal person. There was an exchange. After that, there was an exchange. From that time, you stopped having people around you. Like, people don't come for good reasons. Before that time, you used to have suitors. All right, you are listening to, but you are in school. You are trying to face a lot of things, but you are forty something now. You are listening to me. You are not married. This is what happened. I will pray now, and God is going to take over. Are you listening to me? Uh, the person I'm talking to, listen carefully. All right, there was an exchange. So people don't see you. People see you. You are forty something now, but from that time they started seeing you like an old woman. They see you as an old with they use an old face. You have a good, you are nice, you are okay. But they see you as an old woman. The person I'm talking to, you are listening to me. The hand of God is upon you. And whatever the enemy has done is overturned now. Everything the devil has done, your enemy has done against you, is overturned in the name of Jesus. Is overturned in the name of Jesus. Is overturned in the name of Jesus. Your youth is renewed afresh. Your new, your youth is renewed afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you wherever you are. Please type amen wherever you are. That every power, every weapon that is fashioned against your marital breakthrough is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every time you have lost, maritally, every time you have lost, there is a recovery now. There is a restoration now in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, please put your right hand on your forehead as I pray. I'm rounding up. Put your right hand on your forehead as I pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that everything the enemy has used to cover your face so that the right people will not see you. Let the fire of God destroy it. Let the fire of God destroy it. I decree and I declare between now and three months from today, you will be settled maritally. Between now and three months from today, you will be settled maritally. If this is your prayer, type amen. If this is your prayer, type amen. 
every delay in your life is destroyed every delay marital delay is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ men and women we gather for your celebration men and women we gather for your for your celebration in the mighty name of jesus i decree your bread price will be paid your bread price will be paid people we gather for your celebration in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus precious name we pray amen and amen and amen please listen i want to just say a few things and then i will round up listen to me there are things that can cause marital delay i know of generational cause all right if you notice that you know marriage is not coming your way it's not fast happening there are any of these things i'm sharing can be a a, a cause marital delay can be caused by causes in the family spells in the family are you listening to me yes there are families that have the cause of marital delay I, I i visited a family in worry for prayers and almost everybody was not married what's the problem is that they are not men they are men but all the men that are coming are not ready for marriage they just want to sleep with them and get them pregnant and that is all all right and they are many they're about girls 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 in the family so it could be general generally a generational cause could break it that is why if you notice any of such please Take the midnight prayer very serious. All right? Don't just sleep through the night when you know there is a need for you to pray. Hallelujah. Marital delay. Psalm 68 verse 6. The Bible said, God settled the solitary in families. He bringeth out those who are in bond with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another one is character. All right? Bad character can be a reason why people don't get married in time. Whether you are a man or you are a woman. There are women that cannot be loyal. They don't want to be loyal to a man. Bad character. It's not just about praying. I can pray fire now. Fire, fire, fire. If I don't address this one, there's a problem. So character. You must build your character. Character flaws in the lives of a lot of people, men and women, is the reason why they are delayed. Are you listening to me? Character flaws. Character flaws. Galatians chapter 4 verse 1 to 2. Bible said, Now I say that the heirs, as long as he's a child, divided nothing from his servant, though he be lord over all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed. Character, develop your character if you want to marry. If you want to marry, develop character. A woman that wants to marry, you should learn to, it's not about feminism, all right? Gender equality. We are in Africa. If you are, if you are not ready to stay under a man, you don't need, don't pray for me for a marital breakthrough. Are you listening to me? Develop your character. You cannot be a woman and you are shouting on a man. You cannot respect a, a man. Yeah? You cannot respect a man. It's not nice. All right. It can cause a lot of delay. Sinful lifestyle. There are people that want to marry, but you are still following, you are still double dating. You want to settle down, but you have five boyfriends. Sister, how do you want that one to happen? How do you want that? You want to settle down and you're having more, five boyfriends. Five. Five. You cannot... De sin is a, is a reproach. Are you listening to me right now? Every time you embr embrace sin, you are, you're, you, are, you're, you, are, you, know, you are trading your glory. You are trading your glory. Praise God. So, so number three is sin. The first one I said is generational cause. It can cause delay. Number two, character. Go and work on your character. Go and work on your character. Some persons, you are some pe young ladies have missed their husband because of the way they behave. You say you have anger issue. If I don't show you, I will show you. Implore you in the presence of Igwe Madu, in the presence of people, you are showing your character. If this is me. Yeah, I, 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 I am a, I am a, this person. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And then sin. Amen. People are, you know, people are. Uh, you are a young lady and every time you are in the hotel they are seeing you come to hotel come to hotel come to hotel it's not a laughing matter how can you be living in sin and you are still praying for me uh, for marital breakthrough yeah i'm telling you the truth you will laugh and you think maybe it's uh, but this is the truth if you are a young lady you want to marry yeah keep yourself keep yourself sin is a reason why a lot of people don't get married then lack of service People don't serve God. My dear, if you, you have to start with serving God, not man. Serve God. Then 
Another reason is people are imprisoned by their past. Leave your past. If your ex break your heart, leave him alone. Let him go. A lady told me, say, if I don't marry that guy, I don't go marry for life. The boy himself wants to marry another woman. The boy that she's talking about wants to marry another woman. Oh. Uh -huh. But you, you say, now lie. I want to marry. If he's the person I want to marry. If I don't marry him, I will not marry. See, my dear, move on with your life. Anybody that broke your heart, eh, that saw how beautiful you are, how good and nice you are, and still dumped you, didn't see your value, let go. Don't allow your past to imprison you. Don't allow your past to imprison you. Leave your past alone. Leave your ex alone. Leave your ex alone. Leave your ex alone. So that Bible says, forget about the former things. Now I will do a new thing. A new guy will not come if you are still thinking of your ex. Oh, I am telling you, this is the reason why a lot of people get delay. Oh. Marital delay. Marital delay. Leave your ex. Let him go. My Oga, let anybody that broke your heart doesn't care about you. So let them go. For him to break your heart, for her to break your heart, let him go. Go and make money. Uh -huh. Praise God. Emotional, emotional issues. Some people like every time you are thinking of you are thinking of the man, how the man, you know, how the man broke your heart. And, and you, you say all men are strong. All men are you never you never see you never meet uh, people. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So it is important. And another thing is too much uh, uh, requirement. There are people that your standard is too high. You are a young lady, you want to marry. You have high standard. Your standard is too high. That's why you're not married. You know, I told uh, one of my daughters, she came to me and said, Daddy, I want to settle down. I said, but see guys around you. You are not seeing them. He said, I'm seeing them, but they are not my type. They are not your type. Hmm. When my wife married me, I was not her type, oh. Uh, but today I'm a type. There are people that you want to, you are, you are looking for somebody that has a car, that has a house, that has everything so that you can settle down and come and enjoy. No, it's not like that, oh. It's not like that. I'm talking to young ladies here. This is the truth. Stop looking for somebody who is already made. Stop looking for somebody who is already, look for somebody you can build your life together with. Somebody you can build your big eye is the reason why some people are not married or big eye everything is not prayer it's not it's not died by fire all these little little things i'm saying they're important to a uh, big eye some people have big eye uh, i want him to have a car a car look for him if if he's a young man that is anyone around fifty thousand hundred thousand naira, and he loves you he's mature he's mentally mature he's emotionally mature and he knows what he wants in life pin yourself down with him oh, sister Pin yourself down with him and be wise. Be wise enough to build a family. Start from somewhere. Don't be, don't be saying, uh, 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 it's not my class. It's not my class. Which class? I told my, I told, when I married my wife, you know, some years ago, I was not, I was not even having anything. She bam, I not get. Amen. But she knew that I have a vision. I have somewhere I'm going to. I have a vision. There is a place I have, you know, I have prospect. And today, how far? Hmm. Today, how far? I am, she's very happy to have married me. She made the right choice. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Hallelujah. Ignorance is one of the reasons. Ignorance. Some people don't know. You, are, you need to go and read books. You have not, you have not read any books. That's why you are using the world system to judge your own. You use the world system to compare your own self. Go and read the Bible. Go and read the Bible. Another cause of marital delay is parental choices and decision. Some people allow their parents to interfere too much into their decisions. You will be, you will be there. You know, make your parents or your people understand that you are, you are, you are wise enough. You have the Holy Spirit to help you make decisions. There are some young men. I met a young man. I was irritated. He said, my mother said, small thing my mother said, small thing my mother said, I cannot disobey my mother. Ah, uh ah. -uh. If you matured man, matured man, going to 20, some 20, 29, 29 years old. And my mother said this, my mother said that, my mother, 
You the boy they old 28, 29. My mother, my mother, my, my mother, my mother did this. My mama, my mama said this. My mother, my, my mother say make I not marry from that place. My mother, my mother said this, my mother said that. The reason why some men they will not marry. The, the truth, they will not marry because of their mother said. My mother, my mother said this, my mother said that. My mother, children, baby men, baby men, baby men. My mother said this, my mother said that. You must learn to tell your mommy that you used to be a baby, a, a baby, but you are a man. You used to be a baby, you are a man. You used to be a, 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 a baby girl. Now you are, a, a, you are not a baby girl, you are a big girl now. You can make decisions by the help of the Holy Spirit. If you see a man you like, you say you like him and you want to settle down, both of you like yourself. And then another thing is, some people are waiting for money before they will settle down. You are waiting for money. They don't used to wait for money to settle down, no. Uh -huh. Some people are waiting to have elaborate wedding. You think that we wedding is not marriage? I'm rounding up now. Wedding is not marriage. Marriage is different from wedding. Wedding is a celebration. Marriage is the life you live after that day. Don't go and be preparing thinking that some people use the whole money they save to go and do wedding. And after that, marriage scatter. Mm. Prepare for marriage rather than wedding. I've said it and I mean it. Anybody that wants to marry, you want to marry and you meet me. All right, whether you want to do any elaborate stuff or not, come to my office. If you don't have money to do proper wedding, to do wedding inside the church, provided you have paid the bride price, come to my office. You don't need to wear a gown. You don't need to wear wedding gown. You don't need to wear a suit. Come to my office with your parents and with people that are representing you. I will join you together inside my office. You'll be husband and wife. We will snap and we'll put the picture on Facebook. Matter. Case close. Money not there to go do uh, plenty, plenty things. Save that money. Use it to do something else. When the time comes, when you will become big, you can do blessing of marriage. You can do anniversary. You can do so many, many things. Young men, you are looking for money. I met one of my son in Asaba. He's driving one, one GLK. He's driving GLK. And the girl, the girl that is dating, they have been together for six years, six years, and the girl is there looking at his eyes like this. I see waiting on that they wait for that we are waiting for for money. There's no money, but you are driving GLK. And he has a business, he has something he's doing. Stop wasting young men, stop wasting young girls' time. Take her, take her to your parents, go and pay her bright price. Stop cohabiting. Don't keep her in your house and you are enjoying her. When she takes in, when she uh, gets pregnant, you tell her to go and abort the baby. You are, you are, and tomorrow, if you don't marry her, if I deal with you, <laughs> you don't marry her, you must marry her. You must marry her. I'm just talking about this. This is important that we all get to know, um, know all of this. It's not just about prayer. You must be wise. All right, you must be wise. You must be wise. Anybody wasting your time, please don't allow anybody. Young lady, don't allow anybody waste your precious time. Ask him, what are we doing? What are we doing? What? Don't be ashamed. Don't say, I don't want to look cheap before him. I don't want to look cheap. So that if I look cheap, if I not ask him, now what are we doing? <laughs> okay? Now your time, they go. A man can marry at 50. But there is a time for a lady. There is a time for a girl. Once you get to 30, you start get 35, 40. There's a problem. Oh. Are you listening to me as a young girl? So you are 25 now. You are 23. And you have been in a relationship. And the young man is not saying anything. But he's using you. He's using you. Ask him a question. Don't be angry. Sorry, don't be don't be afraid. It is your destiny I'm talking about. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? If he talks here, talks here, talks here, say okay. Anyway, there's no problem. When you are ready, if as long as you are a young lady, make I tell you, if you have good character, people are looking for good character now, not fine girl, not with on. I pray for somebody who is listening to me. May God give you wisdom. 
understanding. I love you and I celebrate you. My prayer for you is that between now and three months, we will gather to celebrate you in the mighty name of Jesus. We will gather to celebrate you in your now. Please make sure you invite me for your wedding. Send me an invitation. I will come. I love you. I celebrate you. Let us share the grace here. But before we share the grace, um, today is my birthday and I'm celebrating. By God's grace, four o'clock we'll be having our there will uh, what's it called? The red carpet will start at five o'clock. The main event. If you live in Port Harcourt, please come and honor me. I want to see you. If you are not within Port Harcourt and you love to come in, also you are free to 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 come in. In fact, let me tell you something. If you have good character, there was one of my daughter I posted online. I posted a picture on her birthday. That's how she got into a relationship. And now they are planning for marriage. Ah, she has good character. There are people I know that have good character. If I don't know you, I not post you. You get it? If I don't know you, I not post you. Amen. And so somebody say, ah, this one way Papa post online like this. She must have. She must be a good girl. Oh. Plenty people will start their call coming. I celebrate you. Thank you for honoring me. Thank you for all of all the uh, all of you that have sent me something. My God, I feel loved. Thank you. Thank you for the the calls, the SMS. I celebrate you. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so glad today. You can see it from my expression. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. For those still sending something, the Lord bless you. I celebrate you. We'll be we'll be streaming live for those that want to follow up what is going on. Uh, we'll be we'll be on our TV, we'll be on, on YouTube, we'll be on Facebook, everywhere is going to be a shutdown. Hallelujah. This evening, praise God. Please, by two o'clock, I'll be saying a special word. Uh, I'll be, be saying a special word with all those that are, all my sons and daughters uh, around the world. If you are not within Nigeria, in diaspora, I'll be connecting with you. And I'll just be very brief. Ten minutes, I'm out. God bless you. I celebrate you. I love you. I can't wait to have you share your testimony. Amen. God bless you and have a lovely afternoon. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the works of the Lord. Again, say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Finally, say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Amen. God bless you.